Hey there, history buffs. Ever wondered how homes in the Arabian Gulf were built to withstand the scorching heat and harsh coastal conditions? Let's dive into the secrets of these timeless architectural techniques. First up, let's talk about mud brick construction. Mud bricks, also known as adobe, were a staple in the region. Made from a mix of mud and straw, these bricks were sun-dried to form sturdy building blocks. The thick walls of mud brick homes provided excellent insulation, keeping the interiors cool in the blistering desert heat. Imagine living in a house where the walls naturally regulate the temperature. Next, we have coral stone construction, particularly common in coastal areas. Coral stones were harvested from nearby reefs and cut into rectangular blocks. These durable stones were stacked to create walls that could withstand the salty, humid coastal environment. Coral stone homes offered great insulation and protection against the elements. It's like nature's own air conditioning. Now let's explore one of the most fascinating features, the wind tower or badger. These towers were designed to capture the prevailing winds and channel them down into the living spaces below. Made of mud, brick, or stone and topped with wooden latticework, wind towers provided natural ventilation and cooling. On a hot summer day, the cool breeze from the wind tower was a welcome relief. Genius, right? Traditional Arabian Gulf homes also featured internal courtyards or shaded outdoor spaces. These courtyards were surrounded by thick walls or covered walkways that created a microclimate within the home. Shaded verandas and open-air seating areas provided shelter from the intense sun while allowing for natural ventilation. It's a perfect blend of comfort and sustainability. So what made these homes so special? It was all about using locally available materials and clever design features. The mud used for building was sourced from nearby riverbanks or dry riverbeds. Mixed with water and organic materials like straw or date palm fibers, the mud was molded into bricks and left to dry in the sun. This sustainable approach was cost-effective and eco-friendly. In summary, traditional homes in the Arabian Gulf were built to suit the extreme climate and harsh environmental conditions. From mud bricks and coral stones to wind towers and courtyards, these homes were a marvel of natural materials and innovative techniques. They remind us of the incredible ingenuity of our ancestors. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the architectural wonders of the Arabian Gulf. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating historical insights. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present.